Yeah, yeah. Well, in the days of my youth, I was told what it means to be a man. Yeah. And now, now I've reached that age, I've tried to do all the things the best I can. But uh, no matter how I try, I find my way to the same old jam. I, I gotta go. Bye. Yeah, talk later. Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment, today starts a new series, Ranking and Reviewing, and it's starting with one of the greatest debut albums ever. Run. That's right. Led Zeppelin. I don't know if you've ever heard of the band, but they're great. What a debut. Now, back in the day, when I was younger, <laughs> uh, so I think it was 19, I don't know if it was 1969. I should have had a diary. No, it was, it was 1969. It was. But the first Led Zeppelin album I ever heard, I'm pretty sure, was Led Zeppelin 2. And I had seen Led Zeppelin 1, you know, at, in the record stores and all that, and I'd, I'd heard of the name. It was like uh, being talked about. But I, I'm pretty sure the first album I heard was when one of my brothers bought Led Zeppelin 2, and I loved it, of course, right away. And then shortly after that, one of us bought Led Zeppelin 1, and it was just as good. And for this ranking and review series, I think the most difficult thing for me is going to be ranking Led Zeppelin 1 and Led Zeppelin 2. And I have no idea which way I'm going to rank them. So like I said, what a awesome debut album. If somebody said to me, the best debut album of all time is Led Zeppelin, I might say to them, I can't argue with that. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of great first albums, but this is definitely one of them. Uh, yeah, so, so first of all, Robert Plant's vocals, especially on Led Zeppelin 1 and 2, are possibly, well, not, not possibly, they're my one of my favorite vocals on any album. They're right up there. Uh, later on, maybe he lost a little bit of it, you know, from all the touring and all that, but still a great singer. But such power in his voice on Led Zeppelin 1 and 2. And of course Jimmy Page, what a superb guitarist and awesome producer. And uh, John Paul Jones, great keyboardist and bassist. And uh, John Bonham was pretty good on drums too. <laughs> uh, yeah, just one of the great bands for sure. So first of all, in my ranking, Led Zeppelin, at the moment, is number one because I haven't ranked any other albums. So going through the songs, Good Times, Bad Times, what a great opener. It's never been uh, my favorite song on the album, but I mean, it's still a great way to <laughs> open a debut album. Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, which is awesome. Uh, I love the quiet sections and then the hard-hitting sections that, you know, Led Zeppelin did that so well. You Shook Me, great blues track, awesome vocals by Robert Plant, Dazed and Confused. There's something about that song. It's like, you know, I, I've been, every time I hear it, I've, I've heard it probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. I never ever get tired of them. In fact, 
that's the one thing about Led Zeppelin, at least for me. I, I know, you know, Stairway to Heaven is overplayed and all that, but for the most part, I never get tired of listening to Led Zeppelin. When I put on a Led Zeppelin album, it sounds fresh to my ears. And uh, yeah, Dazed and Confused, especially the end of the track, it's just so incredible. Flip over the vinyl, your time is going to come. I feel is a very underrated Led Zeppelin track. Black Mountain Side, I always love it. You know, there's a, a short acoustic number, Quiet Things Down, and Jimmy Page is excellent on acoustic guitar. <clears throat> then Rocking Out with Communication Breakdown. Another bluesy track, I Can't Quit You Baby. I think it's, uh, if you ask Led Zeppelin fans what their least favorite song on this album is, if they had to choose, forgetting the instrumental, I think they would probably pick I Can't Quit You Baby. But I love that song so much that I would have to pick probably Communication Breakdown, even though it's awesome. <laughs> Just shows you how great this debut album is. And then ending with one of my all-time favorite songs and possibly my all-time favorite Led Zeppelin song, How Many More Times. And I don't know if I, I think I have made a, the best closing songs on albums list in the past. But I mean, there's A Day in the Life, there's The, the Great Ending to Abbey Road, uh, and then, you know, a few other bands. But How Many More Times, oh, uh, Won't Get Fooled Again by The Who. But how many more times is would be definitely in my top ten, maybe even in my top ten, top ten, maybe even in my top five. I'm all excited. <laughs> yeah, my, one of my all-time favorite moments in rock music is is the end of how many more times, cause I got you in the sights of my gun. Sounds just like them. Thank you. So my three favorite songs, let's do it this way. My three favorite songs would be Dazed and Confused, How Many More Times, and I think Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You would be my third pick. But I mean, all of the songs are just excellent. So I would love your thoughts on Led Zeppelin in the comments section below. And uh, thank you. Have a great day.